Welcome to Supportcast. My name is Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate QuickTime with our brand new and free stack into Rapid Weaver. So let me just hop on over to a prepared movie I've got recorded. This was recorded using the QuickTime screen recording. And we will save for web. And we'll call this uh, QTX demo. Now I'll export versions for iPhone and for computer. Hit save. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and replace the files I've got. Wait for this to do its work. QuickTime is really great. Gives you a wealth of tools already free with the Mac for recording and exporting your video. And as you will see when we finish the export process here, it shouldn't take too long. You'd actually see Apple actually gives you some code on how to integrate this. Now all we've done with this stack is actually help automate that. So that's it finished. So I'll just hop on over to Finder and here's our files. Now let me just open up this uh, HTML file they already give you and you can see there's our movie nice poster frame click to play funky little javascript controller and some instructions on how to use this in the code now what's important for us to integrate this into rapid weaver is we take the reference movie and the two other versions we've composed and the poster okay so let's go ahead and add these elements into our Rapid Weaver project. Open up Page Inspector, Assets, where's our Finder, OK, and we'll take Computer, iPhone, the Poster Frame, and the Reference Movie. Drop these into the Assets. Now an additional thing we need to add to Rapid Weaver is the QuickTime header scripts for this new stack. It's a bit of a hybrid stack, so we've got an element of header scripts and then the stack that will do the rest of the QuickTime embedding for you. So let's just make sure we've got our header scripts in. We'll open up Page Inspector once more. And you can see I've already taken these, but I'll just show you from scratch. There we are, QuickTime header scripts. Just drop those in. And now let's just add our QuickTime stack. You can see there's already a frame element here, centered, and some additional reference text that you can edit. OK, here's the stack options. So we have a reference movie URL. Now this can be local assets like we're going to do, or it can actually be external on your web server, which is our preferred method. We actually warehouse onto a separate uh, folder on the web server. So we'll just double check the name of the reference file. It's QTX demo and QTX demo JPEG. So assets qtx demo.mov and assets qtx demo.jpg. That's it, we're done. Now let's hit preview. OK. So we have this poster frame. We have the click to play, already nicely centered. Just to go back on some of these options again in the stack, we can actually adjust the size of the video window. So I'll make this uh, quite small. And you can see that everything is uh, nicely centered up and resized for you. I'll just uh, flip back to the defaults. 640 by 360. 
and when we hit play we have a very nice QuickTime controller that comes with QuickTime X for your page. Brilliant! But we didn't stop there. We also included the JavaScript controller. So we open up the Stack Inspector options. Include JS controller. Hit preview once more. And there's our very pretty playback JavaScript controller for QuickTime. That's pretty much it. Really easy steps to include the QuickTime fully integrated into RapidWeaver. Download the stack, install the header scripts, drop the stack in, and just add in the locations for your movies. Hope you enjoy this uh, stack and enjoy our other support casts and hope to see you soon once again.